What's up everyone on the internet? Thank you for making this video a part. I'm so excited to upload this one for you guys because for this video, we're going to take a look at one anime in particular that I enjoy watching every year, and that would be Your Line April. So Your Line April debuted back in 2015, and the story follows Kosi Arima, who is basically a child prodigy on the piano, but after his mom passed away, he somehow lost his hearing. I'm not saying that he's deaf or anything, it's just that whenever he plays the piano, he somehow loses his ability to hear the music. And for about two years, he kind of gave up on playing the piano, and became a little bit more introverted with his two friends, one of which happens to be his next door neighbor. That is, however, until his neighbor Subaki tells him that there's this girl in school that likes his best friend Watsuri, and she thinks that it would be good for Kosei if they could all hang out together. Being the good friend that he is, Kosei decides to go, and when he meets this girl, he finds out that this girl has a zest for life and music, and in that moment, it sparks something within him, and he wants to learn more about this girl who likes his best friend. Well, later on, we learn that this girl is called Cowdy, and we learn that she's actually a violinist who loves to throw her own flair when it comes to performing music at competitions. And while her music doesn't go well with the judges, it really sparks something within Kosei. And as the anime goes on, we see Kosei re-enter the world of music as he struggles with regaining his hearing and also struggle with on how to deal with the loss of his mom. And honestly, the way they show how his relationship with his mom changed as he was getting into music, it's one of the saddest moments in this anime. No joke, I rewatched this with my mom recently and she gasped in one particular episode. Anyway, as time goes on, we soon begin to see Kosei work with Cowdy and begins to grow feelings for her, but at the same time, he reminds himself that Cowdy likes Watari. But behind all of this, we also see that Tsubaki is beginning to grow feelings for Kosei. So Kosei likes Cowdy, Cowdy likes Watari, and Tsubaki likes Kosei. It may sound complicated, but it's really entertaining to watch. One of the things I really like about this anime is that whenever you hear these characters talk about their feelings, it's almost like poetry, meaning that the writers got really creative in terms of dialogue, because whenever you hear these characters talk, it's as if they're trying to paint a picture for you using only their words, and that just makes you believe that these characters have true emotions. Another thing that I liked about this anime is that the music plays a really big part in the story. And while you would normally think that this anime does have several moments where you're watching a kid playing a piano for two or three minutes in front of a large audience, the show does take those moments in order to change the overall setting so that you can see how these characters' emotions are affecting the way on how they're playing their music. And my god, is it beautiful. It almost reminded me of Fantasia to where you only have the music telling you the story that you are watching, and each note being played just tells you what kind of emotions these characters are going through as the story is going on. And while there are several really deep love moments, there's actually several funny moments in the show that make this anime a little bit more lighthearted, which is good because oh my god, this anime sets you up for a tearjerker at the end. And I won't give any spoilers, but I will say that while I really love watching this anime, the ending, however, is a bit sad. And after watching the show, I actually realized that this anime actually gives you several hints at what to expect in the final episode. Not gonna lie, I get a bit choked up whenever I watch the ending. And while I really love this anime, I do wish that it had a more happy ending. Thank God for fanfics! Anyway, if you're looking for an anime with some romance and a bit of comedy, I highly suggest you check this one out. It's on Netflix right now. It's only 22 episodes, meaning that you can actually binge through this pretty easily. Well, that's gonna do this for this video, guys. That was me all of our review for your line April. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button so you guys up this from his channel. I'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye-bye.